If you're looking for single game tickets in the NFL, the Redskins have some available. Back in June, Washington admitted to a mythical waiting list to purchase season tickets, which the team claimed had as many as 200,000 names on it. Then the Redskins sent an email out saying single game tickets are available now. Now in the past, the team claimed seats became available due to visiting team ticket returns. Stephen A. Does this prove that Daniel Snyder is the worst owner in football? Does not. Uh, even though that's a deplorable thing to do and they should be ashamed of themselves. By the way, I've been to several Redskins games uh, over the years and they have an incredible fan base. There's no reason for that to be transpiring. I don't understand that. But I'm not going to call Daniel Snyder the worst owner in sports. Not when you've got Mr. Brown and those boys in Cincinnati who continues to keep Marvin Lewis employed as a head coach despite 15 years on the job and still having failed to win a single playoff game. It is an atrocity. It is ridiculous. It's an insult to the citizens of Cincinnati. It shows them that you've given them the figurative or the proverbial middle finger, that you don't give a damn about how they feel. You don't give a damn about what they want. You clearly don't give a damn about winning. Now, I understand that there are people that are going to look at me and say, damn, he's taking a shot at Marvin Lewis. No, I am not. I am pointing out fact. The fact is that if you are a head football coach in the National Football League and you have 15 years on a job and not one single playoff win to show for it, that is disgraceful. And I'm a black man talking about a black man. And nobody supports the advent and the elevation of coaches getting opportunities more than me. But if this were a white coach, 15 years on a job, you know what? We'd be saying something about him, too. We ran Jeff Fisher out of this sport because in 22 years as a head coach, this man missed the playoffs 16 damn times, which was an utter disgrace, and the Rams finally came to their senses, and they got rid of him. But in the case of Marvin Lewis, as long as he has his head coach, I ain't saying he doesn't deserve to be a head coach. I'm saying he doesn't need to be in Cincinnati. Though as long as he stays the head coach in Cincinnati, they officially have the worst ownership in the sport because they've said we don't care about winning every day he's their head coach. The answer is, Molly, this mm -hmm. doesn't prove that Dan Snyder is the worst owner in sports. We can limit it to the NFL. Um, but I guess you can, you, you know, if you want to expand it to NBA, Major League Baseball, when we say sports, that's really what we're talking about usually um, in this country. This doesn't prove it, but it's another piece of evidence that demonstrates it. You know, it's not like, aha, now we got him. <laughs> Look, Donald Sterling's not there anymore. I think Dan Snyder has the crown. You want to say Jim Dolan? But Jim Dolan has not behaved well. Jim Dolan does not have a, an, of, an offensive name to his team, a racist offensive name that he's doubled do down on and dug his heels into. So you can say his team has no success and he's arrogant and entitled, but the level of, of uh, arrogance and entitlement and insensitivity uh, that Dan Snyder shows with respect to the team's name, which I refuse to say because I wouldn't, if you can't say it to the face of a member of that ethnic group, you shouldn't say it at all, and I certainly wouldn't. I wouldn't go to a, a Native American reservation in this country and use the name of that team, refer to anyone on that reservation using the name of that team. When you combine that with the fact that as an NFC East fan, Molly, you know every yeah. year, what's the team that's the least interesting in the division? Which one? Which is the team that you have the least trepidation about facing? The Red Which, when was the last time they won a Super Bowl? When you take the futility mm -hmm. on the field with the level of arrogance concerning the social issue off the field, I give you Dan Snyder having yes. replaced yep. Donald it, Sterling as the worst owner. I don't of consider it arrogance. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You, I went, don't you went Donald Sterling. Yes, but of course, the, the name, the Washington Business. name issue is much more important than, than the ticket issue.